Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming today. Welcome to our very special event, Ambition into Adventure, Making Money and Changing the World. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, great to see the, the participant numbers already rolling in. Um, lots of you here today. So hello and welcome. Thank you for coming. Um, I want to give uh, everyone a few minutes to arrive. So whilst we're waiting, uh, please feel free to introduce yourselves in the chat bar. Um, my name is Christoph and this is Elizabeth. And uh, yeah, we would really like to know who is here with us today. So um, please feel free to type in the chat bar. I will. Yeah. Yes. I've activated the chat bar. So please, everyone, feel free to, to say hi. We'd love to know your name, your country. Um, are you a, a young person? Are you a teacher? Um, yeah, let us know. Let us know in the chat bar whilst we wait for everyone to arrive. Yes, the chat is now active. So please say hello. Tell us a little bit about yourself. And it's so nice to see everyone uh, yeah, already saying their names, where they're from. And we hope that you're having a lovely World Education Day. Yes, because it is World Education Day. And what better way to celebrate it than talking about ambition into adventure? Wow, we've got lots of people here from India, Nigeria. We've got Jason from China. Hi, Jason. Uh, Kenya, Pakistan, United Arab Emirates, Spain, Mexico. Uh, wow, we've really got a truly global international audience today. Ireland, hi Paul. Chile, South Africa, Zambia, amazing. A worldwide audience and we hope that you'll all get involved. Hi Gupta from India. Got Ron from the Netherlands. Okay, Nikki from Durban. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Monica from India. So a lot of familiar names and lots of new people as well. So welcome. Um, so be um, before we explain too much about today's event, we actually want to go straight into an activity. Um, as you can see from the title, um, today is all about ambition. And uh, we're going to start by thinking big. Um, it's going to be a very interactive session, so I hope you're ready for it. Um, so let me go to the next slide. So it's time for an activity. And we're going to be looking at our dreams and our ambitions. So we really want everyone to play along with us here. Um, and. Uh, to access the activity, you'll need to scan the QR code or go to the link um, that I'm about to share in the chat bar. So uh, if you can't scan the code, don't worry, I'm going to share a link in the chat bar in just one second.
Okay, sorry, we struggled to get the link out there, but it's now in the chat bar and it is going to launch our first activity. So please scan the QR code or click on the link and uh, you will be, uh, you will find two questions. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes now to think about these two questions. Take your time, really allow yourself to, you know, relax into the question and your answers um, will um, come to our end, they'll appear on screen, but they are anonymous. So, you know, you don't need to be embarrassed. We won't see your name next to the answers or anything. So please, uh, yeah, click on the link and put your answers in the Mentimeter. We're interested to know um, what, what everyone thinks about these two questions. So we'll give you a couple of minutes to do those. And meanwhile, I'm gonna have a look at some of the answers coming in. Really take your time uh, and, and think about those questions. Yes, you can already see answers are going to come in. Oh, it, there's so many already. Yeah, so the first question is thinking about who do you admire and why? Um, and uh, a real range of answers. Um, someone said uh, Greta Thunberg because she has the courage to speak out about her passions and she is determined to change the world. So yeah, I think that's a fantastic answer. Thank you so much for, for typing that and, and linking it to today's session. We are gonna be talking about changing the world and I think Great is a, a fantastic example of that, isn't she? Mm -hmm. um, someone has listed their mum. They've said, I admire my mother, which is um, always a nice one. Um, for her resilience, kindness, and compassion. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Someone mentioned Mike Posner for showing people a different perspective and outlook on life. I don't personally know who that is, but that, if that's what they're doing, then that's great. Mm -hmm. One is my students. That's a lovely thing to hear. Yeah. Especially on World Education Day, I think you can you know, get so much from your own students, as well as students getting a lot from their teacher. Yeah. Uh, Mifra, who's just joined in the chat, is asking where can she access the questions? Um, I will um, paste it again in the chat. Mm -hmm. So the first question was about who you admire and why. We're and going to move on to the next question now. Yeah, which is... Um, what can you do to help your community or the world? So um, we're really thinking big here. Um, you know, you thought a little bit about a specific person. Now we want to bring it back to you. Like, what's your role? What could you do to help your community or the world? Sorry, a few of you are having issues um, accessing the second question. We're just trying to fix it now. Okay, our apologies. There's a, an issue with the technology, which is always the case um, in these events. Um, 
So rather than doing it through the Mentimeter, um, I'd like to actually invite one of the participants today uh, to come up and, and talk. So um, we're interested to know what do you think you could do in your community uh, to, to improve it or, or what could you do to change the world? So if anybody has an idea they'd like to share, um, please feel free to raise your hand um, and I'd love, to, I'd love to invite you to speak. Or alternatively, you can just type in the chat bar um, that's also fine. I can see uh, Ilknor, you've got some great ideas. So if you'd like to share with the group, you're very welcome. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, now, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, everybody. Happy Education Day also. I'm so happy to be here and I'm so happy to know you all. I think for me, the most important subject is the water shortage, I think. Now, because of global warming, you see uh, water sources are uh, coming to an end. In Turkey also, it is the same. Uh, it is January now and uh, all the uh, trees have blossomed and uh, the temperature isn't uh, below 20 degrees. Uh, so this is not, <laughs> this is really strange for me. And mm. we have uh, almost no water uh, in Turkey. Thank you. No, thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah, yeah, thank you for sharing and, Thanks and providing Thanks that perspective from Turkey. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. You know, you've identified the environment and, and trees and, and water yeah. and lots of people in the chat bar talking about environmental issues. And uh, yeah, that's, that's absolutely something which people who take part in the enterprise and venture also care about. And that's something I'll, I'll talk about later, but without going into any more detail, we're, I feel like we're, we're nice and warmed up now. Um, and I'm gonna hand over to Elizabeth, um, hand over to Elizabeth and uh, let her take it away. Well, hello everyone. My name is Elizabeth and I'm delighted to welcome you to our event. As I said before, today is World Education Day, and it's a very important day for us at Teach Amanda Fish. This is because we believe that quality relevant education can help young people change the world. We want to contribute towards this global goal, and to do this, we've created an app called the Enterprise Adventure. So, I want to know, have you ever heard of the Enterprise Adventure before? Have you ever taken part? Let me know in the chat bar. I know there are people here who maybe have been on the Enterprise Adventure before, or maybe there are people who are completely new to it. That's okay. Let us know in the chat bar. Yeah, let us know if you've already taken part, if you've just heard of it, but you haven't taken part. Our Dhruv is here. Uh, yeah, you participated. Yes. Great. We can see why some of our winners are here too. So great to see. We're sending them a little shout out. Hi, Heba. Hello. Ritika also took part. I just found out about it from Ayaka. That's amazing. It's great to see new people too. Great. Hi, Peshal. Hi, Aliat. Pleasure to have you here with us. Okay, so for some people it's new and, and some people are really familiar with it. So mm -hmm. let's bring everybody up to speed, shall we? Yes. So thank you, everyone, for your contributions. Some of you heard it before. Some of it's new. But for those of you who know nothing about the Enterprise Adventure, we have a special video to share with you. Yeah. So... Uh, just give us one minute to make sure we've got the right settings.
Did everybody hear that music okay? Did, did that music come through at your end? Great. Okay, so let's find out about the Enterprise Adventure all together. Mission one, welcome to the Enterprise Adventure. I want to make money. I want to change the world. I want to help my community. Whatever you want to do, whatever your dreams are, the Enterprise Adventure will help set you on a path to make them come true. To do this, you'll be planning your very own business. It can be any kind of business you like. Don't worry, you don't need to know anything about business, because this app will guide you and teach you step by step. On this exciting journey, you'll develop all the superpowers that you'll need to achieve your dreams. These include aiming high, empathy, analysis, evaluation, creativity, problem solving, adaptability, listening, speaking, and financial. And you won't be alone. You'll be joining an amazing community of young people from around the world who are just like you. And there are some great prizes to be won too. So what are you waiting for? Complete Mission 1 today. So, um, that was our, our little intro video, and um, hopefully from the video you understood that the Enterprise Adventure is all about developing skills, skills that are really important for life, some of those skills which you saw on the screen, and we do this through planning and actually launching a real small business. So um, it's, a, it's a really, really exciting adventure. Um, we've broken it down into 22 tiny little missions, but you do one at a time. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a, a really special experience. And we want to give you a flavor of that today. So um, we're actually going to do another activity. Um, and we want to see how good you are in a business situation. So um, we have a young girl called Anita, and she is uh, setting up her own small business like so many of our adventurers do. And we want to challenge you to help her. So we've got another mini game, which you can access by scanning uh, the code, or I'm going to share um, the link uh, in the chat bar. Just uh, give me one second. So you can either scan the QR code or you can click on this link. And uh, this link will take you to Anita. And well, it's pretty clear what you need to do, but you'll basically need to help her make some important business decisions. Mm -hmm. So I really want everyone to have a go. Uh, you know, this session is all about getting stuck in and, and really trying things. So please click on the link and uh, yes, try and help Anita and see how you get on. I'll give you a couple of minutes. Um, and if any of you finish, uh, just type in the chat bar. Let us know when you're done. Let us know how you found it. You know, we would love to hear from you. Yes. So everyone just read uh, through the story and see how Anita launches her business and what choices you'd make to help her. Hopefully you're all able to access it. Um, let me know in the chat if you're struggling to access it and, and we can help you. Mm 
just whilst um, you're you're all helping Anita, I just wanted to share that in the Enterprise Adventure, we use lots of mini games and activities like the one you're doing right now to expose participants to new ideas. And you know these these activities they're they're simple. They can be done from the phone. Uh, they can be done you know on your couch or on the bus, on the move, wherever you are. Um, and they're designed to build up your confidence and gradually as you progress through the missions the games they get a little bit harder and then they they turn into real world activities so right now you're you're helping Anita with a fictional scenario but later on you know uh, as you progress through the enterprise adventure you're going to go out into the real world you're going, you might interview a business owner, or you might go and talk to people on the street and find out if they want to buy your product or not. So these games are, are a way of getting ourselves warmed up and confident mm -hmm. so that we can then go out and really develop our, our superpowers in the real world. Yes. So hopefully everyone is enjoying that. Um, let us know in the chat when you're finished, um, and then we'll know we know when we're ready to move on. Mm -hmm. Yes, whenever anyone's finished, just post that you are. Post what kind of choices did you make? What kind of score did you make? Uh, and did you have a good time? I can see Ritik has finished. Should we ask her to share? Eighty-five points. Finished with a good score. Amazing. Ritika, um, would you like to share with the group um, how you got on? Ritika, I'm, in, I'm inviting you to come off mute. Um, would you like to tell us a little bit about your experience in the activity? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, so I'm not able to understand what I have to speak. Sorry, I, I didn't hear that. Oh, am I audible? Uh, yes, you just speak up a little bit, please. Oh, can you repeat what do I have to say? Oh, I was just asking you, how did you find Anita's experience? How did you find the game? Oh, actually, the link was in the chat box. Yes. And, but how was the experience of doing the game? Actually, I, when I was doing it, I actually felt like the, the business, like I was helping as a person in launching the business and uh, I was helping uh, in uh, continuing the business and like uh, set, setting up the stalls and everything. And that gave me more experience and more ideas also. Great. That's really good to hear. Thanks for sharing, Ritika. So, as I said, you know, we use a lot of these activities in the Enterprise Adventure. The app is filled with them and, you know, they can be done in short little bursts, either after school or at the weekend. Um, and we found that the young people who, who use them, it broadens their horizons and, and it helps them to, yeah, develop their, their real world skills. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hand over to Elizabeth now. Thanks everyone for sharing your experience. We can see a lot of people have got good high scores. They thought the choices and helping Anita were really interesting. And it does get you prepared for going out and turning ambition into adventure. Now, I'd like to tell everyone a little bit about the Enterprise Adventure app. So the Enterprise Adventure launched in 2020 and it's open to all 13 to 19 year olds out there. It's made up of 22 mini missions that you can do on the go, after school and your lunch break. Just very small missions cut down into little chunks that are easily uh, completed. Um, there are thousands of participants from all over the world, a thriving global community 
of young people who can talk to each other, share advice and have all sorts of conversations. And there have been hundreds of businesses launched and thousands of dollars in income generated. There have been so many different businesses launched through the enterprise adventure, such as community tree planting, self-published books, vegetarian cafes, and even web design companies. But instead of me telling you all about it, let's hear from four of our wonderful young entrepreneurs from Nigeria. Yeah, so let me make sure sharing the sound. Being a science student, I didn't really know much about businesses, so I saw this as a golden opportunity. I took part in the enterprise adventure because I love challenges and critical thinking. And I like trying out new things physically, and I also wanted to create something that will help the world at large. And what made me take part in the enterprise adventure was my willingness to solve a problem in my community while making profit. I enjoyed learning about the superpowers, talking to other people about businesses, and visiting other businesses virtually. I got to learn a lot from people from different countries. I got to I got to gain from their ideas. The missions were amazing. And the fact that we earned badges and there was a leadership board got me really going. I got to learn about business weaknesses and strengths and also how to be ahead of people who run the same business as you. The business I launched was a website that could help people suffering from one substance addiction to the or the other. It's connected these people to the right business, to right, to the right medical personnel whereby they could get help. I planned and launched a business called Pfizer Business Cards. It was for different reasons such as birthdays, weddings, gets we all soon cards. I planned and launched a plastic solar torch. It can be charged by a natural source, that is the sun. Edubot is an online enterprise that teaches secondary school students online. My biggest achievement was when one of my customers commended me for my good work. My biggest win was when I had to talk to local business people and it was so fantastic because we shared ideas, opinions together. My advice to my friend would be that she should go for it. She can make it big from there. And no matter how challenging the situation is, you should strive to thrive. The gap between the male and female is being filled. She should always take risk because the risk will definitely, it can pay out well, but... So there we heard from uh, four, four girls from Nigeria who, who have used the Enterprise Adventure app. And um, I just, yeah, want to, want to take a moment to pause now. I wonder, uh, what did you think of that video? What are your, what are your first impressions of the app? Um, and, you know, do you have any questions at this point? So, um, yeah, let us know in the chat bar. Um, yeah, I'd love to love to hear if if anybody has anything to say at this point. Uh, Ron says amazing. Uh, Ishan Gupta says a very experienceful video. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so Ishan says, how can I access the app? So yeah, that's something we're going to be talking about uh, in a moment. Mm -hmm. So. Make sure you stick around and, and we're gonna be we're gonna be sharing that with you. Yes. Drew says um that the ideas were really creative and it's true. I mean, Elizabeth, you you said some of the businesses we've seen mm. are the participants are, are are so amazing. They come up with such incredible ideas, things which really matter to them. Um and and that's not a coincidence. The, the missions are designed that way. So mm. in the first few missions, you'll be thinking a lot about yourself and what skills you have and what you care about and who you admire, like we just did. And, and we'll get you thinking about what your community needs. And then we shift over to business and we look at business as a force for good. 
Um, and then the subsequent missions are all about planning. Mm. I think the girls they mentioned, didn't they? Like market research and, yeah. and all those activities. Mm -hmm. Um, Ron said, how much of a focus do you put on impact versus profit? Are all projects focused on both? Is one more important than the other? So that's a really good question, Ron. Um, we encourage um, we encourage young people to set up businesses that do have the potential to be profitable. Mm -hmm. But throughout the missions, we talk a lot about responsibility to people mm -hmm. and to planet. So um, uh, the businesses tend to be social enterprises, I would say, and that is what we encourage. Um, we, we really want to see young people generating income, mm -hmm. which, which they have done, and we want them making a profit for themselves. Because I think it's worth saying at this point that the money that participants make is for them. It's for them to keep and spend on whatever they like. So mm -hmm. it is really important. And a lot of young people find that really motivating. Mm -hmm. um, but we do, we do emphasize throughout the importance of, of social and environmental sustainability as well as, as profit. So hopefully that answers your question, Ron. We've got a nice comment from Pearl in there. Thank mm. you very much. Yes, it's good, like, good to see you point out critical thinking and the connection between creating a sustainable impact but acquiring financial stability for the youth. Very important. Uh, we can only change the world if your business has the self-sustaining uh, ability. So yes, create a profit, but also do good for your community. Mm -hmm. I think the thing we've realized is you do need money to change the world so we can't completely take out the money piece like money is really important if you have big ambitions mm. which is what our adventurers have isn't it yeah great so moving on um I think it's time for another activity isn't it yes it is so now that you've seen the video and you've seen what Fatiha, Peace, Alia and Chinodu chose for their businesses let's find out what kind of business launcher you would be so we're going to put a new link in the chat bar in just a moment and I want you all to click on it to be taken to a personality quiz and it is what kind of entrepreneur are you or would you be in the future So I'm posting the link in the chat. So I hope that worked for everyone. Uh, either scan it or click on the link. Let me know if that doesn't work. But uh, whilst you're accessing that, I think Elizabeth can tell you a bit more about the activity. Yes. So as I said before, it's a personality quiz. Just answer the questions however, the, however you want to what resonates most with you and you're in a few minutes you'll get what kind of entrepreneur you'd be most likely to be and once you're done with the activity it should only take a minute or so please post your results in the chat and we can all compare what results we got yeah you'll be given a personality type we want to know everyone's personality type there's uh there's a lot of us in the room right now, so I want to see lots of lots of results coming in through the chat. Mm. Please, uh, yeah. I hope everyone feels comfortable to share. Yeah, it'll be interesting to know. Yes, I know what my result is. Um, whilst you're doing this activity, I'm going to answer a few questions um, that have been coming through. So, Pearl, um, you've asked, is the app only open for 13 to 19? What about those above 19? Um, so we have had participants who are over 19. Um, 
and they are welcome to use the app. It's just that it's really aimed at teenagers and um, in order to, to be able to win a prize, because we have, we have prizes available for the best participants, you do have to be 19 or under um, just to keep the competition fair. So um, people over 19 can use the app, but they wouldn't be eligible for prizes. Mm. So I hope that answers your question, pal. And results have started coming in. So do you want to read some of those? Elizabeth? Yes, we can see there are a lot of community builders right now. That's really impressive. Of course, um, looking out for your community and launching a social enterprise is, you know, one way to change the world. A very popular result there, I can see. Oh, and the free spirit. Ah, oh, that's another way to change the world. You can only change the world if you have the ambition in the first place to have that independent thought and strike out on your own. Okay, we'll give everyone another minute or two um, to, to complete the quiz, the test, and, uh, and share their result, and then we'll move on. Well, Ron got the community builder. Thanks for sharing, Ron. Mm -hmm. Okay. So oh, another one, another community builder. We can make a community of community builders at this rate. Yeah. Oh, the celebrity. Well, <laughs> that is an ambitious one for sure. <laughs> The money maker. Well, that's what we want to hear. <laughs> yeah. Wow, loads of results coming in now. So thank you everyone for, for being so game and being so open-minded and, and taking part. Mm -hmm. um, these links are going to stay open um, for the next few days anyway. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can do these activities anytime. And, and just remember that these are some of the activities which are actually in the app. So if you want more of this, uh, make sure you stick around. Um, yeah, and that's what I'm going to be talking about next, um, how you can get involved. So we're really, really happy to announce that the next season of the Enterprise Adventure is going to open next week. So the Enterprise Adventure works in uh, short seasons, which last three months each. And the next season is going to be open February, March, and April. And we have certificates available for everyone. So everyone who's on the app and who completes the missions will get an official certificate. Um, these certificates are great on CVs, they're great on uni applications, they're great on job applications. So uh, that's definitely one of the benefits of taking part. And I also mentioned very briefly earlier, we have cash prizes. Mm. So um, the best entries, uh, people with the best ideas and who do the best research and so on, uh, they will win prizes. So we have uh, over $900 actually in prizes available. So if you needed a little bit of extra motivation, uh, hopefully that, that'll do it. So um, how does it work? So if you are um, in between 13 and 19, then you can take part in the adventure. And we have a website called enterpriseadventure.org. You'll notice that registration isn't open right now. Uh, we're gonna open it next week. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to share the wait list with you. So we have a form um, which uh, you can fill out. And if you, if you fill out this form, you'll be on our list and we will contact you as soon as registration opens. 
So you'll be the first to hear and you'll be able to secure your spot in the enterprise adventure. And we know that not everyone here is between 13 and 19. We also have teachers and parents and people who work in education more generally. And, you know, you can, you know, you can also get involved if you think if what you saw today seems good, seems attractive, then basically we're asking for your help uh, to spread the word. So we'd like to encourage you to invite all 13 and 13, 14, 15, all the way up to 19 year olds in your network to join. Mm. So people just need to go to that website. Um, and if you click on register, you'll see that there's a link to the waiting list. Uh, the waiting list is also in the chat bar. Um, and yeah, get, get on that list because once we open, we only have limited places. Mm. So um, yeah, we're, we're hoping that all of you will join and we're hoping that you'll bring your friends, your family and so on with you on this, on this journey. Yes. Definitely. Um, great. So that's how you can get involved. The waitlist is in the chat bar. We're going to email everyone after this session anyway. Tomorrow mm -hmm. we'll send you an email. So we'll put the link in there as well. Yes. So now it's time for a question and answer session. So Please feel free to ask any questions you may have about the Enterprise Adventure. Just put any questions you may have in the chat. We also have some adventurers here, the users of the app, some of their teachers, and us, the organizers of the competition, ready to answer you. So if you have any questions about anything at all, the missions, the games, how to sign up, just put them in the chat and we will get back to you right away. Yeah, don't be shy. Um, we're here for the next 10 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions, um, we'd, be, we'd be very happy to hear them. Um, and if you have any feedback on the event or anything you'd like to say, uh, just put it in the chat box. Yes. So Isham says, can I find the app in the Google Play Store? Yes. We have our special app dedicated to the Enterprise Adventure, uh, which is available on the Apple uh, App Store and the Google Play Store. If you go to the enterpriseadventure.org website, when registration opens, you will be able to download that app. Yeah. So our recommendation is that you join the wait list. Um, I shared the link already but I'll share it again. Um, if you, yeah, click on the forms link and you can join the wait list. And Drew has kindly added the Enterprise Adventure website. Thank you, Drew, mm -hmm. really appreciate that. So that's our official website. You can find out about the app. And next week when registration opens, there'll be a button for you to sign up. Mm. Yes, there's a question from Sunitha. We have exams early March, so can we work on it only in April? Now the deadline will be in April, so we would advise you to get started as soon as possible. You'll be able to work on it in February. It doesn't need to be all at the same time. You can just do a little bit, pause for exams or whatever else you need to do, and then start again. As long as you complete all the missions by deadline, you will be eligible for prizes. So Andrew says, hi, I'm a teacher. I wanted to know when the results of this year's submission will be declared. Well, the results of the last season of the Enterprise Adventure, which is just finished, are all available on the official Enterprise Adventure Facebook. Our six winners have a post each there. And the new season will be opening next week. 
Yeah, so last season's winners were already announced on Facebook. So if you go to the Facebook page, you'll find them all there. Um, and we'll have new winners being announced mm. in April, yes. at the end of April. Ratika says, if we have already participated and our idea didn't win, can we reuse it by making a few changes? I'd say that yes, you can. Just focus on what you can improve and maybe you'll win next time. And so Neva also says, is this going to be quarterly because we have a summer vacation in May and open in June? So will there be a new one during June? Yes, you'll be pleased to know uh, after this coming season, there will be a little break and then there'll be another season after that. And that will be June, July, August. Yes, the summer season. So the summer season might be perfect for you, Sanifa, by the sounds of it. Mm -hmm. Yep, Ness says we're excited to join. Thank you. Well, we're excited to see you there. Um, whilst, you know, we're, we're doing questions and answers, I think it might be nice to hear from some, some, some people who have used the app before. Mm -hmm. um, I believe... We have a few people here. Yes, I believe we have some people who've used the app before, some of our winners here. Uh, I believe we have Mithra, for example. If you could raise your hand, uh, we'd love to hear you talk a little bit about your experience, Mithra. So go ahead. Um, is my voice audible? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Elizabeth and uh, Christoph and the whole of Enterprise Adventure team for this wonderful opportunity. Um, now, when I look back, I could say that when I was initially introduced to Enterprise Adventure, I was like a traveler walking without a map. But I found this map of mine through my journey in Enterprise Adventure. The platform not it helps us plan and run business, learn so many amazing things, and not the least, have lots of fun. But there's more than this. It helps us realize the three P's of life, that is purpose, potential, and power. The provoking challenges, missions, and stories in the app have helped me to realize my purpose of life. Each and every mission, right from the very first mission, helped me realize my potential. And through the app, I also became aware of my superpowers. And that is when I thought, OK, why not we use these powers to bring a change, not only in us, but in the society and in the environment around us. And that's how I was able to launch my social enterprise, the Catalyst Academy that equips students with the necessary 21st century skills through cheap and best student uh, skill development courses. So, you know, the enterprise adventure played a huge role in helping me become the person I am today. And that's how I shall connect my beautiful experience in the app. Thank you so much, Mithra. It's amazing what you say about the enterprise adventure giving you a map to your future, not having the map before, but then knowing the way forward by using your superpowers to create your business, the Catalyst Academy. Uh, it's so great to hear that you're still really involved uh, as an adventurer. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Thanks, my friend. Thank you for coming. It's always nice to, to have you here at these events. And yeah, well, uh, we'll keep in touch, won't we? Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, team. I think we also have uh, Ritika. Um, Ritika, are you around? Yes, sir, I'm there. Oh, yes, we can hear you. Uh, when I uh, I heard when I when I first heard about this uh, enterprise adventure, uh, I felt like uh, making a business uh, has no use. But uh, when I but when I learned more about it. Then I found that uh, business is not only a way to make money, but is also a way to change the world. So I thought, why not to take part in it? And I went ahead and uh, I thought about the, an idea to reuse the old clothes and uh, sell, uh, sell the, those clothes in a much more cheaper price, which would also reduce the amount of waste produced. And uh, although I did not win, but I, I still got a lot of experience about uh, making a business and uh, launching it. And I hope for to win the next time. 
Thank you for that, Rishika. It's really great to hear about, you know, per, you know, people who have been part of the enterprise adventure and want to go again, improve themselves. Um, you know, I think that, you know, it, it's really good experience for everyone involved to just see how much they can improve by going through the missions, by looking at what they've done before and being part of a wonderful community because that's probably one of the best parts of the enterprise adventure, just seeing you all here as an amazing community. Yeah, thanks, Ritika. Um, and we're yeah, looking forward to having you back mm -hmm. uh, with us in the next season. A um, few questions coming through. Uh, Arib asks if we're going to share the recording. So, mm -hmm. yes, we will. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll share the recording in an email probably mm -hmm. next week. Um, and Ron says you have a few administrative questions. So, yeah, you can get in touch with us. Our email address is info at enterpriseadventure.org. Um, so we'll, yeah, if you write to us, we'll be happy to answer your, your administrative questions. Um, Ilknor, it looks like you have your hand up. So I'll invite you to come off mute. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't, but uh, it was really interesting and amazing. Um, I'm, I am a teacher. And my students are really, very, very happy uh, to join uh, the school enterprise uh, program challenge. And uh, we are looking forward to, to the next one. Uh, of course, we will join with uh, more teams this time. And they are very, very excited uh, to begin the program again. Thanks a lot for everything you do for us, you do for the environment, and you do for the teachers and for the students. Many, many thanks to, to you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ilkna. Thank you very much for your kind words. Um, we've got a few hands raised, so I'll, I'll, I'll invite the others as well. Yeah. And we're allowing, uh, if you just unmute Heba, and she is our winner from this season. Um, would you have anything you'd like to say, Heba, about your experience? Heba, are you there? I think you've got your hand up, so feel free to come off mute. Oh, okay, Heba's uh, having to fix her mic. So whilst we're waiting for Heba, uh, Peshel, you've got your hand up. Hello, am I audible? Yes. I remember I first heard about the Enterprise Adventure the day you were visiting my school, um, so, And I immediately found it so, so intriguing. The entire process has been incredibly wonderful. It's been a true honor, I'd say, to be a part of this platform. A very wonderful and informative experience. And it's exactly the kind of thing I was looking for being a commerce student because we don't see a lot of real life application in such platforms when it comes to entrepreneurship and commerce related subjects. Uh, thanks, Peshal. I'm really glad you, you found it mm -hmm. to be a, a, a beneficial experience. And yeah, we're really happy to have you with us. Yeah. Um, you. Ed Liver, um, you've got your hand raised. Feel free to come off mute. Oh, okay. Not sure if. Not sure if Etliv is there, but I can see Aliat. You've got your hand raised, so I'll invite you to come off mute, Aliat. Good day, everybody. Can you Hi. hear me? Hello. So um, I participated in the Enterprise Adventure, and it has um, increased me. It has helped me in different aspects where I never imagined. For example, um, I had to visit different business 
um, places to figure out how they do things. And it has actually helped me my social skills because I'm a shy person. So it's made me overcome my shyness and I was able to talk and meet new people. And funny how I'm a science student. So I was not really, um, I didn't really know much about the financial aspects because it really gave me a tough time. Even though I seek assistance, but I was still able to do something by myself. So I'd like to say a very big thank you to the Enterprise Adventure for this great opportunity. Thank you so much, Alia. We're so happy that you were with us this season. And it's great to hear that people from all backgrounds can enjoy the Enterprise Adventure. As you said, you're a science student with people with interest in poetry and art. And it does teach you from, you know, even if you don't know anything about, you know, finance or anything like that, it can give you the tools to aim high and make your dreams come true. And your uh, business idea was really amazing this year and uh, we're, we're so happy to give you the opportunity and to see it all come true. Thank you very much. All right well um, it that was so lovely um, hearing from everyone mm -hmm. and so many nice stories being shared and yeah I think it's it's time to to bring the event to an end. Um, time is up um for me i just want to say thank you to everyone who came um, i hope you've learned a little bit about the enterprise adventure i hope you had fun doing some of the activities and i hope that um you will either join us in the next season or um you will uh, help us spread the word that's you know we want to welcome as many people as we can to the app so we need we need everyone's help. Mm. Uh, tell your friends, tell your family, um, and let's let's continue growing this amazing community. Yes, it's an amazing community, and um, we all have a lot of fun, and everyone helps each other out. So you know, there's no need to be intimidated because it's so helpful, and um, just like everyone really gets on with each other, and in the community forums as well. But uh, we can't wait to welcome you back uh, next season. So hope you join the wait list and we'll let you know when we open our doors. Yeah. And on that note, thank you very much, everyone. And we'll be in touch by email in the next few days. But, uh, but for now, we hope you have a lovely day wherever you are. Um, and yeah, we will speak soon. Bye-bye, everyone.